this tutorial you will learn how to uh, create features such as points, lines and polygons by tracing from an image. So zoom into an area of interest for you. This could be your home or work area. I am going to zoom um, onto UNLV campus and in the area of SCB building. Suppose that you are interested in creating a map of the locations of all the trees in this area. This is done in three steps. Number one, create an empty point shape file. Number two, open that shape file in edit mode. And number three, trace the points representing the trees. To open an empty shape file, go to our catalog and your folder lab 2 and right click it. In this list, go to new and shape file. So you are asking it to create a new shape file in lab 2 folder. A dialog to create a new shape file appears. In this dialog, you have to provide a name, the type of the feature, and information about the coordinates. Let's call it my local trees and uh, keep the default point type data features. We need to select a spatial reference for this shapefile. Click Edit and Select. Now you're going to select a geographic coordinate system which is North American Datum 1983 or NAD. It's in North America. NAD 1983. The dot PRJ indicates projection file. Pay attention to the, the details. Notice that the angular units indicates degree and this is how many degrees there are in, a, in one meter. The prime meridian which is the reference longitude, it's uh, Greenwich, zero degrees. The datum is North American 1983. The spheroid is GRS 1980, which has a semi-major axis and uh, semi-minor axis. And the flattening uh, is 298. These are the terms that you have already been familiarized during the lecture. Also note that uh, we selected a predefined uh, projection, but we can also import projection of an existing shapefile or create a new one based upon our needs or we can modify an existing projection file too. So click apply or OK and you will see that the spatial reference has been selected. Uh, you can click OK um, to go to the next window. This window is a warning uh, telling us that the spatial reference of the my local trees that is being created is different from the spatial reference of the existing uh, image. Now that is not a problem. This is just a warning or uh, information. Click close. And you will see that my local trees appears in the table of contents. Open the attribute table of my local trees and notice it's an empty shapefile. It has the default columns of the ID and the shape and uh, an additional column of user defined ID. But other than that, there are no rows or no more columns. These have to be created by you to complete this shapefile. Let's create two columns one for the name of the tree and the second for the height of the tree. Go to table options and select add field. Give a name which would be tree name. Make sure that there is no space in the name. You can put underscore 
and the length of this uh, name cannot be more than 10 characters now since this is name of the tree it will be text type variable and by default it will allow 50 characters for the name but seems like that's too much so we will reduce this to 20 characters field for name and see how this column appear in the uh, attribute table create another field called height and make it type float because this is going to be a uh, a number with decimal values. Now in this case the precision is the total count of numbers that you would like uh, it to handle and scale is the decimal places. For example we'll make it a total six numbers with two decimal places. Click OK and see that height appears in the attribute table. In a similar manner you can add more fields to this attribute table and it basically depends upon what kind of data um, you are going to collect uh, about these features, uh, in this case trees. Um, this completes this tutorial. In next tutorial uh, we will talk about how to add new points into a shape file.